multiple studies, as you know, Senator, and peer-reviewed scientific journals show that at least 97% of climate scientists agree that climate warming trends over the past century are very likely due to human activities. Please explain why we should believe you, a politician, <laughs> instead of the 97%. We've heard it many times. An overwhelming consensus of climate scientists agree that humans, through greenhouse gas pollution, are causing global warming. But where does that come from? How do we know? While a professor at the University of California, San Diego, Naomi Oreskes published a well-known survey of climate scientist opinions in 2004. I thought, well, yeah, but you know, just because the leadership of a scientific society say it, that doesn't really prove that it's what the rank and file believe. How could I judge whether or not the IPCC reports and the National Academy reports are accurate reflections of what working scientists actually think? And I thought, well, I could do a science citation index survey. I could look at, you know, I could do a sample of a thousand papers, look at them and see what they say. And so that's what I did. Of 928 papers surveyed, none rejected the consensus that humans are causing global warming. If you look at what scientific experts have to say on the subject of whether or not climate change is underway and whether it's mostly caused by human activities, the scientific community is clear the answer to that question is yes. John Cook is the best known researcher in this area and conducted the famous 97% study as a PhD student at the University of Western Australia. And in 2000 and um, 12, we thought it's been a, nearly a decade since Naomi Oreska has published her original analysis of peer-reviewed papers. It's time for an update. We looked at 21 years worth of peer-reviewed papers about either global warming or global climate change. The first thing we noticed was that a lot of papers don't even bother to mention whether humans are causing global warming or not. It's like uh, you look at astronomy papers, not many of them would bother mentioning that the Earth revolves around the Sun. That's established consensus. We don't need to keep mentioning that. But amongst the papers that did mention it, and there was about 4,000 papers amongst the 12,000 papers we looked at, 97.1% of them endorsed human-caused global warming in their abstract. The modern consensus on carbon dioxide and climate was formalized in 1979 when an expert panel of the U.S. National Academy of Science conducted a thorough review of what was then known. The panel concluded, if carbon dioxide continues to increase, the study group finds no reason to doubt that climate changes will result and no reason to believe that these changes will be negligible. They added, a wait and see policy may mean waiting until it is too late. At about the same time, scientists inside oil giant Exxon were coming to the same conclusion. In briefings to Exxon management, scientists pointed out that a clear scientific consensus existed. They wrote that the buildup of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was a serious problem, and that it was distinctly possible that effects could be catastrophic, at least for a substantial fraction of the Earth's population. They concluded, the results of our research are in accord with the scientific consensus on the effect of increased atmospheric CO2 on climate. We also had the idea that it might be a good idea to actually contact the authors of these papers and ask them to categorize their own research. Who's a better expert on what a paper is saying than the, the scientist who wrote that paper? So using an independent way of quantifying the level of consensus one way was us looking at the abstracts. The other way was asking the authors of the papers to rate their own research. Both obtained 97% consensus. Well, before our paper and after our paper, there's been a number of surveys of the scientific community. Reoccurring through the, throughout this research was the finding that as expertise in climate science increases, so too does the agreement that humans are causing global warming. What we did find is the more expertise respondents had, the more they agreed with the human dominance of global warming. But then you start picking apart the data and you start looking at what's their expertise. And it turns out that the, the people that are, are publishing climate scientists, they're the real experts that self-identify themselves as climatologists, that's 
97, I think it was 90, 98%. Dozens of independent lines of evidence that all come together telling us the same thing. That's how science works. That's why there's the consensus, not because we're standing around holding hands, because independent teams of scientists coming at the problem from different angles, arriving at the same consistent answer over and over again.